Fired Up Trucker here. Hey everyone, Fired Up Trucker here, Jim Hammonds, and just gonna do a quick, I don't know how quick, gonna try and make it quick, orientation video. I went to orientation with Knight Transportation this week. Today is May 4th, 2015, so I was there through the 7th. It was a four-day uh, orientation. I want to start off by saying follow me on Facebook, Jim W. Hammonds. Send me a friend request. I've got, I'm almost at 5,000. There's about 45 spaces left, so hurry up and do that. Uh, also, follow the YouTube channel. Comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Share the videos if you get, you know, if you get value from them. And Facebook group, Fired Up Truckers. Send me a join request for that and I'll approve it. Send me a friend request first. So, I want to start by talking about the application and recruiting process just really quick. And the number one tip I want to give you is I want you to get all the information that you need to be to make an educated decision on where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want to drive for, what kind of driving you want to do. And here's why. When I originally started, if you can see this list here, this is only 10 of the companies that I had on my list. I had 14 at one time. And these six here, Knight, KLLM, Raider Express, CR England, Stephen Swift, are all companies that I knew had their own schools. Uh, and that's the route I was going. I wasn't going to Roadmaster like a lot of people. So when I finally decided uh, to start putting in applications, I, some of them I put in just those little feeder applications, the little two or three question deals. And then one weekend I made a decision, okay, I put in like 10 full applications. And then that week, first person that called me was CR England. Second person called me was Swift. Then KLLM, I think. Uh, actually, I didn't do Knight until later on. Uh, so anyway, but here's the thing. The way that I came up with these names, <laughs> when I first started thinking about getting into trucking, I just sat down with a pen and pad and started writing down trucking companies that I had seen on the highway. And then I did some, you know, went on Facebook, and then I went on YouTube and stuff like that. But for the most part, a lot of these, I went directly off the top of my head. So, look, there's not only one or two, there's hundreds, if not thousands of companies out there. There's large companies, there's small companies, there's all kinds of different companies out there. Just get on the highway and drive for 10 minutes, like on a major highway. I was going, to, I was going Monday morning to... Uh, to the uh, orientation for the first day. And I could not believe in the first seven miles of being on the highway, I seen a dozen different companies' trucks go by. The trucking industry is incredible. There's so much opportunity. They're looking for so many drivers. Uh, there's no reason for anybody. If they've got a decent driving record, you know, they don't have it, uh, you know, if they're able to pass drug tests and do stuff like that, no reason why you shouldn't be able to go in and put your... Uh, your application and see how it goes and and do a bunch of companies I mean if, if you know if you got a few things going on there uh, either it's health wise or maybe legal or whatever just be honest because if you're not they're gonna find out just you need to tell the truth right up front and and then just go from there so don't give up if you want to get in the truck truck industry there's plenty of opportunity and uh, there's plenty of money to be made I haven't done that yet because I'm just getting in, but I've heard and I've studied and I've done my due diligence, okay? Do your due diligence. Don't just go on Facebook and ask someone, hey, what are the best companies to work for? Man, that's that's not the way to do it. You need to get out there. You need to look at their websites. You need to, at the company's websites. You need to go watch some YouTube videos. You need to talk to some people. And when you do all this due diligence, remember this. You're getting people's opinions. You're asking the questions, and you need to know the right questions to ask, but the questions are only good as the source. So you have still, all the information you get, you still need to do, you still need to have your own experience when you're going through this whole process. And that's how I've kept my uh, motivation and my attitude good. So anyway, I hope that helps. We'll get more into that in a later video, but I wanna go through the orientation. Let me see, I'll stand over here. First of all, this is Fired Up Truckers Night Orientation Plus, May 4, 7.30 a.m., Hutchins, Texas. It's off of the Hutchins Terminal for night, is off of 40, Highway 45 and 20. 
day one, basically day one was pretty much what to be expected. Finishing up some paperwork, uh, some new paperwork that I didn't have already, doing some computer work, and getting our physicals and our drug tests done. In my class, believe it or not, I was the only new person going through the Squire program, so everybody else of a group of about seven or eight were already experienced drivers. So something that did happen that kind of took away from my experience was that they were given road tests. The person that was doing the class the first day did three road tests, and then the second day did two road tests. So I just, I had nothing to do but sit and wait for all this. So I did a lot of sitting and waiting. Uh, two, paperwork, three, physicals. Okay, on your physical, here's the deal. All the basic stuff, height, weight, BMI, which is your body mass index, eye stuff. But they're going to put you, in night, they're going to put you through a little exper you know, uh, ex uh, exercise type thing. They've got a box that's about 18 inches high. It's made out of like two by sixes. It's up against a wall. And there's two handles up here. And he's going to tell you, okay, I want you to step up five times with your left, bring your right up, and then go down with your left and down with your right, and then do it the other way around. Do that five times. They're seeing if you can do that. Then they take you to another box that's just like a box on the floor. It's a wooden box up against the wall, no handles, and up and down on that five times or so any way that you want to do it. Uh, then there's some weights. They have you uh, pick up some weights and put them on a basket full of weights, bring it down, turn, do whatever, you know, just stuff like that. So you have to do a little bit of exercises. Uh, and then the, the probably the one that uh, got me huffing and puffing a little bit was I don't know how much weight was in it, but it's like one of those little plastic milk crakes. And there was probably 60 or 70 pounds and had to lift it up, walk five spaces, set it down, pick it up, come back, had to do that 10 times. So after everything else, that was last. So be ready for that. Do a little bit of exercise. Get out and do some cardio. What else? Day two, we went over the paperwork from the first day, just one or two pieces. He did more road tests. I had to wait. Uh, that's, uh, and then, then we started doing modules for different parts of trucking and different parts of the company. Things like that. Just going through the modules classroom. Day three, we did more modules, we did maintenance, payroll, and we went over the Zonar system, which keeps the electric book, electric logs and everything. Uh, drivers started getting their hiring notifications. I got my hired notification on, on uh, the day three. Drivers started getting hired notifications. Drivers work with people to get, like some people had different paperwork they needed to get done and stuff like that. So they were working with people out there to get that completed. Uh, we started the Smith System training, which is a, a it's, it's five keys of the Smith System. It's all about driving safer and better and being more aware. And then on day four, we did the Smith System driving training where we all got into the minivan and took turns. You drive three different times. You do just a regular drive. He's telling you where to go. Then you do a coaching drive where he's talking and he's, he's seeing what you're seeing and he's telling you what you should be seeing. And then the next time you have to go and verbalize uh, what you're seeing. Then we went back and there was people starting to get their trucks so they were dealing with all that. Uh, some people by that day we still had one person that hadn't been hired yet. He ended up getting his hire done yesterday. Uh, and then we got our badges and our fuel cards. Uh, so look it was a great experience. We